it's not easy to bring a client to your chair. It's not easy to have someone going to you instead of their old barber. If he decided to look for a new barber and then he sits in your chair and he never comes back, you then you're not growing your clientele. You have that chance. One, one, one chance. One chance. Only one chance. Exactly. To retain that person. And if you don't have a good retention, you never grow your clientele because you're always trying to attract new clients that don't come back. But you not retain the old ones. It's not sustainable. You're always chasing new clients, new clients, new clients. And if you retain your clients, so next month you have the new ones that will be coming plus the ones that came last month. And then it gets a snowball effect and it just grows bigger and bigger and bigger. I even had an uh, example of barbers that start cutting hair with us, uh, beginners. So they start at the same time, that same month, same day. The, the, the skills level that they had were the same. But I, I, I noticed that the guy that was talking more to their clients, the clients were coming back more towards him than the other guy. So the guy has less retention. And retention is not only about giving that great haircut, like I said, right? Uh, I forgot. Can you continue? <laughs> <laughs> Were you about to say? <laughs> I was about to say something else, but I will, I will remember. Okay, yeah. You're, that's true that the barbers that worked in our team that had better communication oh, skills. I remember. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I remember. Uh, the thing is, sometimes the client, you are cutting their hair they don't know what going through your mind, right? They could be thinking if you're quiet, even if you gr give them a great haircut, but if you are quiet all day, <laughs> I said, during those, the time that you're cutting their hair, they don't know if you are sad, they don't know if you lost passion for what you do, and you are there because you were forced, and you are there just to make the money and pay the bills, if you are angry, if you are unhappy in what you do. So they don't know that, unless, you speak out unless you talk to them. They, and then next time they will come, they come not because the haircut you have done, but it's the, but it's the person that you show them, mm -hmm. you know? So that's that's what I was going to say. Okay. Yeah, we had a uh, couple situations with barbers that didn't speak English. So they, they didn't know the language and they had the language barrier. And we got bad reviews because the clients felt... I don't know, they felt that the barber didn't do a good job, even though they did. But the problem was not the haircut. The problem was not communicating. The person was there quiet with a face that the client interpreted that this person is in a bad mood. This person, as you said, doesn't like what he's doing. And Ma it wasn't true. It was just that the person didn't know how to speak English. Many things get go can go wrong because you without communication. 